In this video, we're going to cover setting up a Flask project. Um, Flask project is um, basically our web server that we're going to be using for the um, majority of our projects. Um, we're using PyCharm, so in PyCharm, the prerequisite, so to clean this up, is you need Python installed on your computer. Um, so, in PyCharm, I'm going to go to New Project, and with the um, community edition, which most people are using, Pure Python Project. If you have a professional, you can just go Flask Project, but we're going to use Pure Python because it's easy. So we give this a location. So the location is a class or our projects folder, but we need to create a new project folder for this project. And I'm just going to call this um, set up demo. Okay. So I've created the folder, but it doesn't actually select it, so I need to select the folder and go okay. Now when I'm creating this, I want the new environment. And this base interpreter should be on my C drive somewhere. It's on the online one. Um, the school laptops may, well, will require some um, authentication. Um, the version doesn't really matter at this stage, but we can change the version if we want to. Um, at some stage, um, we will need it at Python 3.11 or Python 3.7. Uh, I'm going to just click Create, and. It, if you've got another project that it's going to come up in this window and says, do you want this window, which will close your current project and replace with this one, a new window, which will create a new window for your entire project. Now, it takes a little bit of time creating a virtual environment, so it's copying that Python interpreter into this virtual environment. Um, so for a Flask project, there's a few bits and pieces that we really need to um, set up. Um, and I'm sure I'm here. Um, but the main thing we need to set up um, is that folder structure and this file here. So as always, it's new directory. And we're going to start off with static. And static folder is where we're going to put our style sheets and images and things that don't change, so they're not dynamically created. So right, and now template folder, so right click new directory templates. And so we've got those two. And inside our static, we're going to create a directory called, um, I can call it CSS, so style, that's more style sheets. Um, I might as well go ahead and create that one, and I did say images, but um, so images as well. Um, I'm going to create a CSS file. If you have the pro version, it creates it will do some shortcut for you, but I'm just going to call this main.css. That creates a CSS file. Um, that should be it for about now. In my templates, I'm going to right click, click and I'm going to create an HTML file. HTML file will automatically create some boilerplate code um, and I'm just going to call this home.html and it creates this um, home page and just so you can see home page. So, so. Now, um, I don't actually have Flask installed in my project. So to install Flask in my project, I need to do one of two things. The long way to do this is I go File, Settings, and I look for my project, my Python interpreter, I click that and go Flask. And then I just click Install Package. But the probably the better way is to right click and we're going to go New, File, Requirements.txt, and in here I'm just going to type Flask. And what PyCharm does is it detects this is a requirement, it says requirement not satisfied, and I just go install requirement. That's going to go away and install all the Flask libraries that we are going to use. Um, now, main.py. This is my main Python script, and I'm going to get rid of all of that. <coughs> so we need to import Flask from 
class, capital F, um, and eventually, oh, sorry, from flask, import flask, um, and that imports um, our flask libraries that we are all going to use. Um, and so that's an import of our flask libraries. Um, without that, we cannot use any of the stuff. Um, then we need to create a flask application. And we just create a uh, variable container. We say equals flask, so we're using the flask libraries. And we pass it this underscore ver variable um, called main, which just means it's essentially the name of the script. So it'll be main. Um, and then by default, we can say if name is equal to main, and we're just going to app.run. Now, this will here will um, run our app. Now, this line here just says if we run this from line, line, or the run menu, so that's one. Um, the other way we can run scripts is that if we import them like this, like say um, all this flash stuff is just Python things, and we don't want them to actually run until we call it, so we protect it by using functions and by using this sort of thing here. Now, we talked about in class about routes and um, routing pages, so we need to have a default route. So, and all we need to do is we need to say, with our app, add a route and what the URL that we're going to go to. And we're going to, when we go to that, uh, the default one, we're going to run the home function and all we're going to do is return um, hello world. So, by default, um, yes. um, by default, we are just going to use proper Python formatting. Um, we have our basic class app. So, if I click the run, that will run my project. If I can't click the run. I can actually go run and then this run thing and then I select the script that I want to run. And it should come up with this serving class app main. It's a main script. Debug mode off, we can change that. And I should be able to see how I work. Now that's it for this video. I'm going to actually do another one shortly just showing how to um, use the templates in the static files. But um, that's setting up Flask and getting things happening.